Hi everyone, this is Anna from VP State Team and today I will show you how to delete the demo properties, agents or agencies and how to add yours instead as you build your real estate website. After you import the demo content, you will see demo properties here under properties menu. To delete the properties, you can simply select them all with one click and then select from bulk actions the option to move to trash. Click the button Apply. Then you can repeat until you delete all the properties. You can do the same for demo agents. You go to Agent menu, select All Agents, then select from Bulk Actions the option to move to Trash. Click the button to apply. For demo agencies, you can do the same process as I'm doing now. Next, I will show you how to add your agent categories and then the agent profile as well. Agent categories show on the profile page and allow you to make lists of agents by the specific categories. And here is how you edit agent categories. From admin, you go to agent categories. To delete one category, simply click delete. To edit a category, click edit, then change the text, click update when you are done. You can also add a new category, simply type the text you wish and click Add Agent Category. You can repeat all this action for Agent Type, Agent City, Agent Area and Agent State. And now we are ready to make your agent profile. So if you are an agent, go to Agents, Add New and add your agent profile. Click on Title and add your name. Then add some information about yourself in the description area. Select the categories you wish to show on your profile page from the right area. From here you can add new categories as well. You can select agent categories, cities, areas and states. Then add your contact information. You can leave blank what is not needed. And I will fast forward through this part as the fields are easy to fill in with your information. Now this is very important, the image of your profile. Go to Featured Image and Edit. The image should be at least 500 pixel height and uh, 500 pixel width, as I show you now in this demo example. And this size will make sure the photo looks nice. I will select the demo image, but you can upload yours from your computer first and then select it from media as I am doing now. VP Residence allows you to add cast also custom fields for an agent and you can add anything you'd like in this area. I will add some custom fields to see how it works. So you first add the name of the field and then you add the short description and you can do this for unlimited fields. But in this example, I will just add these three fields now. And if you decide to add a field and then delete it, you can simply click on the delete button. And now let's check the front page. The profile page starts with a map that will actually show only the agent properties. But you can change this map if you wish to. So go to edit agent in admin and to header settings. From here you can change the hero header with one of the alternative options just for this agent. But if it is global, you can go to Appearance, Header, Settings and change the global header to something else and it will apply to all the pages by default. Then you will see the agent image, his social information and contact information. You will have the custom fields, the agent categories, the agent description and the agent contact form that actually goes to the agent email address. Now you will see also the agent listings, which will show if there are listings added to the agent. And then lastly, on the sidebar, you will see the widget, widget which you add in team options. We already covered this in a video, but just to make a short reminder, you can change the sidebar position and what sidebar from the sidebar settings for an agent profile. And then you can set what widgets you wish to show on that sidebar from appearance widgets. Now, are you an agency and you want to add your profile as agency? I will show you how to do that next. 
uh, just to show you an example from our demo, agency's profile look different than agent profile. Now, to add an agency, you have to go to admin, agencies, add new. You start with your agency name and then you add a description with some information about yourself. From the right panels, you can select the agency categories and you can manage the agency categories separately exactly the same way as we did for the agent ones. You select what you wish from the right panel and then you add the contact information. I will actually skip through this part because the fields are self-explanatory. Featured image is also important. You can actually upload the image from your computer here. And the next I will show you an example of a good featured image already added in the demo. As you can see, this has a size of 500 pixel width and height, and this is a very good size. I will select this demo image for my profile. I simply click, select the featured image. And now the last detail left to do is to set the office location on the map. For that, you can use actually the address and the pin address button you have available. Or you can simply click on the map to set your location, as I'm doing now. And the profile is now ready. And this is the agency profile we created. Now it has no agents or properties, but you can see this contact form, which actually will go to the agency email address set in the profile. If you wish to restrict access to the admin dashboard and your agents or agencies should add the listings without having access to the full options, you can do that as well. This is already explained in detail in our YouTube videos and I will share the link in the description so you can watch this video separately if you are interested in this option. Just wanted to show you that as front-end options, BP Residence also has CRM included and agents can manage their contact and leads separately from here. And if you wish from uh, my profile, you can actually add your uh, HubSpot API to sync the messages directly with HubSpot CRM. Next, we go to properties. Before adding your first property, first you should set the properties categories. You must add this first as it is easy for users to find the relevant information about the property and they are used in search as well. The team supports property categories, types, cities, area, states, features and amenities, and property status. To add a new category, type the text label first. Next, leave the Slack blank because it is needed for search to work. Add the featured image, which is needed if you wish to show a category in short codes. This can be an image from media or an image you upload from your computer and click Add Category. To delete a category, simply click Delete for the category you wish to remove. To edit an existing demo category, click Edit. Then change the text label, delete the slug and leave it blank. Then add a featured image, which is needed if you wish to show a category in short codes. Select the image from media as I am doing now or upload an image from your computer and click update when you are done. Property types are managed the same way as categories, so I will skip through this. Cities, areas, and states are managed the same way. The only difference for these categories is that they are dependent categories. And now let me show you quickly what that means. I will open a demo of a VP residence and I will show you in search. So if I select a state, then I will have only the cities from the state. And when I select a city, I will have only the areas from that city. When you add a city in admin, you type the city name and then you will have a field for which county or state has this city. And you have to select the, the state from here. You can add a featured image if you wish and click update. If the state is missing, you add it from the county state section. And when you add a new area, you have a field for which city has this area and you select the city of that area from here and then click update when you are done.
The next categories are property features and amenities. This you can organize as groups and add icons to them as well. This is how a section of features and amenities looks in property page. So you can see they are organized in separate groups and each has a specific CVG icon. I will show you quickly how it is done. To add the group name, first add a parent category like this. Then you can set the features and amenities belonging to that parent category. So if you use a demo feature and amenity, you edit it, you select the parent category and then you add a CVG icon to it. In this case, I will simply select a CVG icon from the demo. So I click insert the icon and then I will save the changes. Next, I will show you how you add a new feature and amenity. To do that, you simply type your category name. Then you can add the parent category. And last, you add the CVG icon. In this case, I will upload a CVG icon from the demo folder that comes with the team pack. And you will do this for all the features and amenities that you wish to have for your properties. Property status is the last category. This can be used in a search and shows on property page and in property card. I will show you quickly on a demo. So here it is in search. And then the status can show on the property card in list and on property page as well. And next we will add a property as an example from the admin area. So you go to properties, add new, add the title and the description of the property. And then you select the categories from the right area, the same way we did for agents. Here you select the city, state, area, property type, property status, and property category. Next, we will fill in the property detail section. Uh, here includes uh, several options about the price. Uh, your price will be used in mortgage calculator as well so you can set specific mortgage calculator values then you can add the rooms bedrooms bathroom size lot size and here you can leave blank if you don't want to share this information and the fields will not show you can also set the energy certificate details if you use this in your country next we will move to the media section here I will show you quickly how you add images to your property. So you simply select the files from your computer, upload them, and then once the images selected are uploaded, you simply click select and they will show in the property slider. You can add a video as well and I will quickly show you how you add a video from YouTube, for example. You simply have to copy the ID and edit in property media. So the video section will use the featured image you will select for the property. But if you want to add a different image for the section, you can upload it here. I will select an image from media, click insert into post and that is done. And you can also add a virtual tour iframe in a special section. You can also add custom fields to your property. The custom fields are added in team options and you have different types available. There is a video dedicated to this section and I will share it separately. And for the map section, you can place the map position of your property. Here you can use the button after you add the address, country and all the details, you simply click the button and the address is pinned on the map. Or you can click on the map and place the property pin where you wish in a different position. Next, you will select the agent who will show on the property and his contact form will get the messages. You can also add specific floor plans and here you can add unlimited floor plans if you wish to. You can add specific information about the property. You can also add a floor plan image and in this example, I will show a floor plan image from our demo. I will select it and insert it, but you can add one from your computer. And you can repeat this until you add all the floor plans. The last section is the property subunit section, but because we have no properties published now, we have no properties to select as subunit. 
The last section is the featured image. You should select a featured image from the images you uploaded earlier. Simply click select and it is showing as featured image. Now click update to see the property. On the property page, you'll have all the information we added in admin, property details, images, the video, the map, the virtual tour, the mortgage calculator, the floor plans, and the agent contact form. So the team allows you to manage property page settings globally from team options as well. You can set the default measurement system in general settings. You can set the property price in price and currency settings. And you can have unlimited custom fields added from the custom fields section. You can also change the labels of the property sections from here. You can put your custom names and you can change the property URL names too. And you can have the change applied to agent, agency and developers URL separately. There is a design section for property page as well. VP Residence allows you to design a custom property page design and you can set this for all your properties. This is already covered in a dedicated video and I will share the link in the description. You can also set globally the sidebar position, the agent position. You can use sticky sidebar for properties and much more options, which you see here. Just to show you an example, I will make a quick change now. I will enable a sidebar for the properties and I will save and show you how it looks. So you can see that a simple change in team options applies automatically to this property and to all your properties. And now let make, let's make a second change. Let's put the agent on the sidebar, for example. Save changes, refresh the property page, and you will see that the agent and the agent contact form show now on the sidebar. Before we finish this video, let me show you quickly the developer section. The team can have developers pay profile separately. The profile looks like the agency profile and the options to manage developers are the same as the ones I showed you for agencies. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Remember to subscribe to VIP Residence YouTube channel to get informed when new videos are published.